Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greta and I do videos on perfume and other luxury items. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please consider that. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified to my new uploads. And of course, I'm always appreciative to all my existing subscribers. Thank you so much for the support. I had intended on uploading a haul video, but I, I, I ordered a lot and three or four of those shipments have had issues with either damaged goods or missing goods. So I'm waiting to see how everyone resolves them all to finish that video or it's gonna end up having to get divided into two. So those videos, um, so as soon as I know how those companies take care of me, I will finish the videos. But in any case, I do want to do one on Carner Barcelona. I had wanted to do a video on this. I've always liked this line for um, a year. And I've had a couple of their perfumes and then I also managed to find a discovery kit and I went through this, I think, last summer. So I wanted to share this with you because I don't hear a whole lot about Carner Barcelona and they are an amazing house. So I wanted to share with you some of their perfumes and what I own from them. And you've probably seen some of them in my videos. So I will start with TARDIS, which is, and you can see they're in these like square Models. This is very light right here, but Tardis is a beautiful spring or even summer floral fragrance. I'll say the description here says a tribute to the peace and harmony of late summer afternoons. So there you go. Like it's just a beautiful, fresh, clean floral. It's almost like I would love my laundry to smell like this. It has almond, cedarwood, and musk in it. There's also florals in here, but it's just that almond sweetens it up just a little bit. The middle has plum, cedar, celery, which I laugh because I've seen some fragrances lately turn celery on some people. I don't get that in this. A base of heliotrope tonka musk. So you really get that musk. This is not a mass projector. It's meant to be a really pretty signature scent. Goes with anything. You can wear it any time, but I do think it works better in the heat because it is a lighter fragrance and therefore it will project for you in that heat. It's a great one. The other one that I have, is this even in? Yeah, this is in the Discovery as well, is Elborn. Elborn is your boozy vanilla kind of fragrance. It says here, a contemporary, this cracks me up, licorice perfume filled with the vitality and character of Elborn. So they spelled licorice, liquor-ish, like booze, alcohol, liquor, and then ISH, so like liquor-like, which I think is really funny because it reads like anise, licorice. Anyway, boozy. It's a, has Calibrian bergamot, Egyptian jasmine, Australian sandalwood. But you really get this like caramelized vanilla in a very boozy rum kind of way. I personally don't really like boozy vanillas that much. I prefer a cleaner vanilla, but I know a lot of you do. So it has honey in the base, Angelica, I'm sorry, in the top notes is honey, Angelica, Calibrian bergamot and lemon. The middle is benzoin, fig, heliotrope, Egyptian jasmine, in a base of Madagascar vanilla, Peru balsam, sandalwood musk. And I'm gonna tell you that honey is really in there, but it, it gives it that caramely kind of honey, a boozy kind of way. It's interesting, but I really like this one. And again, I do kind of find the whole line to be a crisper line, a cleaner line, not, um, these are not beast mode fragrances. This the Longevity is, I'm gonna say adequate, like I get my eight hours with these fragrances and then they start to just kind of be a skin scent. Sillage is modest. 
But again, in the heat, you'll get more of that sillage. So that's why I like them better in the spring and the summer. So then the other ones I have here, and I actually went through, I have three circles here that I really had wanted. So I'm gonna do the others. So we have here Rima the 11th. It's X1, 11. And it says here, it's an intense spicy perfume that evokes the seductive, defiant, inaccessible love. Highlighting cardamom, sealant, cinnamon, and soft amber. This would be great in the fall or winter. But it does have cardamom, black pepper, saffron, mint on the top notes. Middle notes of sealant, cinnamon, Indonesian nutmeg, coriander, and Indian jasmine. In a base of Madagascar vanilla, Australian sandalwood, benzoin, amber, Virginia cedar, and musk. I do like the dry down of all the Carner Barcelonas. So I'm getting that, this like spiciness basically from the cardamom and the pepper and the nutmeg and the cinnamon. It's beautiful and the vanilla is coming through. Just kind of sweeten that up a little bit. This is really nice, but more for fall or winter. Or cool, cold summer day because it's actually not so potent that you couldn't wear it in heat. It's just that it has that warmth of the spices. So like a stormy summer day, this would still work. That's what I like about them is they are a little lighter. Okay, the next one we have here, let's see what's next, Palo Santo. I love that name and I've heard about that one. So it's a warm caramel and vetiver blend with the intensity of Palo Santo creating a fragrance that calms the soul. There's a rum accord, Paraguayan goyac wood, goyacom wood, and vetiver from Haiti. So, ooh, wow, rummy. Definitely boozy, wow. Makes El Born look like nothing. Really warm and boozy. Wow. But I just, it's wasn't really for me. Like I said, I'm not into boozy fragrances. I don't know why they like just give me that honey sticky feeling. Everyone has their thing, you know, what they like. I'm not really getting the vetiver yet. It's so overwhelming with that rum, caramel, vanilla kind of feeling. There is middle notes of musk, tonka bean, and the guayac mood wood, which I don't really get. I'm really getting a lot of that rum, caramel, vanilla. Starting to get maybe that like a milky lactonic kind of feel to it. But again, we'll circle back when these are all dried down. So then we have, I had gotten in Scentbird 2 from this collection when I saw them. So we have Sweet William. I love that name. You know, a really, really long time ago, I used to have a boyfriend named Christopher. I called Sweet Christopher because he was really so sweet. This says, Pequot cinnamon and cardamom spices fused with a velvety floral heart of ylang ylang and plush sophisticated carnations in this sweet and spicy floral. So we have carnation, ylang ylang, black pepper, cinnamon, and iris. Did I spray one? I did, good. Oh yeah, carnation. Definitely carnation. I'm not really getting any powdery iris unless that comes in later. And I did pre-spray these, but not as I usually give a really good 30 minutes before I film. He's got like five minutes. I, okay, I'm getting a lang ylang. I'm really getting the lang ylang now, but wow, that was a big burst of carnation at first. I'm not getting any spiciness or powderiness yet. I feel like I haven't given these enough time. Hmm. It's nice. It's nice. I mean, I'm not bowled over by this by any stretch. It's nice. If that's your thing, like it's just nice. 
it's it's I'm not huge on carnations I guess I should put that out there like they're okay they're not horrible they're just very um ordinary to me okay so that's sweet William I did break up with sweet Christopher so maybe there's something to this I don't know Basils. How can you not like a name? I love the names that they come up with. Basils. I mean, to kiss. Come on. Ooh. I like this one. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Okay. I, I don't know if there's aldehydes in here, but I like clean fragrances like that, but I did get like a little powderiness, some clean. So this is a light, refreshing mandarin citrus spiked with sharp black pepper. Sets the stage for the ultra luxurious Indian Jasmine Absolute and subtle iris over a smoky vanilla base. Okay, I really like this. This one's for your next first date. It's musk, iris, vanilla, jasmine, and mandarin. I like this. Wow. Ooh, and I have, oh, thank goodness, I have this in 8ml somewhere. Where did I drop it? It's in my hand. it was in my hand. I like this. Oh, I'm so glad I have you in a travel size. Wow. Yeah, because you know I like my my iris, my violets, things like that. So this has, yeah. I'm really getting the vanilla jasmine iris. So it's that sweet, powdery, sexy jasmine. And I did get the citrus at the first burst, but it's kind of gone a little bit. I really like this one. Wow, this is like sexy in a really coy kind of way. I like that. Oh, I really like this. Okay, that makes me happy because I seemed to like a lot of these for men, not so much for women. So now I'm going to go through what I had as my top three in that discovery kit. I had D600 as the top number one for ladies, other than what, I mean, I purchased. But actually, I'm not crazy about Elborn personally because I don't like that honey, boozy vanilla. I love Tardis. Love it. Longevity is not the best, but I do love it. D600, I love, and I wanted this. And what's really interesting is the owner, who's a woman, this is her signature scent. I love it. I don't like that the longevity is not the best. You know, you'll get like your four to six hours and it's okay. It's just not the, gra the greatest. But D600 is a perfume that captures the urban lifestyle and the contemporary spirit of Barcelona. It's Sicilian bergamot, Italian iris, and Madagascar vanilla. I mean, it's just so beautiful. Let's see, did I? Opens with grapefruit, bergamot, and pepper. But you know what? I do get the middle notes of iris in there right away as well. We have middle notes of iris, cardamom, jasmine with a base of vanilla, vetiver, cedar. I don't really, I, this is a little linear where I see all of that come up right away. I don't have the cardamom quite yet, but I'm definitely getting the vanilla, cedar, iris, and the opening citrus pepper. I really like this one. It's so pretty and clean and elegant, kind of like a white linen outfit. And then you get that vanilla that warms it up. I really, really like this one, but it, like I said, I'm not crazy about the fact that the longevity is not the best, but it's so pretty if you have like a, this is kind of a bulky bottle to carry around with you, but if you decant some, you, you carry it around with you. This is so pretty, so, so pretty. Okay. And then the one, what did I say was number two for men? I said Costarella, which is a perfume that captures the Mediterranean breeze and the smell of the old boats shored on the sand. Primary notes are top of Italian bergamot, marine accord, and imbroxum. I have to tell you, where are you? Here you are. This one oh, is a beautiful citrus marine fragrance for men. It is, wow, this is an amazing summer note, especially if you're on a shoreline somewhere. 
This is just so good for men. You have bergamot saffron with sea notes and sand notes. I'm seeing a lot of sand notes in fragrances lately. I saw sand in, there's one in BDK. There's one in, mm, I can't think of it. In a base of Ambroxan, Virginia cedar, and amber. But that sea and sand. Uh, Tiziana Terenzi, that's the other one that has a sand note in it. This is so, so good. Like, this is the man I like to stand next to right here. This just smells so refreshing, but not like this sharp citrus because of those C notes and the sand notes. Like, wow. Yeah, I really like this one. Very, um... It's just so clean when you have the C notes and you have the citrus notes that there's something just so, like you've just showered about that. Casual. This is not something you'd be very dressed up for, but it's something that you're cleaned up for dinner, but you're maybe on like a tropical vacation or in aquatic vacation, I should say, like you're somewhere in a beach town. Which makes sense because, I mean, Barcelona, and then you, you go to the Mediterranean, to the islands there, like, uh, what is it, Mallorca. You go to those islands, and there is that whole beach town vibe there. I'm actually looking forward to doing that this summer. This is, oh, I can't stop smelling it. Okay, and that's not even the one I had as number one. The one I had as number one, and for men, absolutely, was the Curse. It's redolent with nostalgia for a bygone era of artisan ateliers where the tobacco smokiness fuses with the singular scent of raw leather. And then there's also saffron, Australian sandalwood, and a leather accord. This is so good. I do find this warmer because you do have that smokiness and leather, so it's more formal. No matter what the weather it could be more formal or it could be cooler weather because it really is warm but it it keeps a freshness about it there is caraway at the top but i don't get a whole lot of that but i think it's those woods that cedar note i just happen to find cedar refreshing because there's something vibrant about it and the sandalwood that just keeps it fresh but it is more formal, more evening or cooler weather. There's just something that's very warm about the leathers and the woods in here, that amber, labdanum coagulate. Like it's just, I do get a slight, the violet is not a powerful violet that makes this really powdery. It just kind of softens up that, the harder look of leathers and smokiness and the tobacco kind of smell that's in here. There's Cypriol oil in here too, Amherst, but labdanum. And there, wow, a little patchouli. This is just good. It's a real, there's just so much going on, but it gives this overwhelming, like the, the, the end result here is a beautiful warm fragrance that's lightened up. So you can still wear this year round. I'm going to say better again in moderate temperatures because none of these are beasts. These are not going to cut through the cold. But it does this. That's what's also beautiful about it is you can wear these types of notes in warmer weather like spring, summer, fall is what makes it so amazing is you can have that smell without choking people out. That's what I like about this house. This is really, really, really stunning for a man. I really like this one. Anyway, that is Carner Barcelona. Let me know if you've tried them, if you've had any. I think this is like perfect time of year for this house now that the temperatures are warming up. Um, give them a try. I'm definitely really excited to be wearing Besos. I am um, so excited. I had there's another one, hot Latin, 
Latin Lover. Latin Lover is another one that I wanted to try that they have. I just haven't seen it anywhere other than the full bottle. And I, I've done so many blind buys. I, I, I don't want to blind buy it. Because like I said, some of these I love and some of them I'm like, yeah, that's cool. I know, it's all right. It's okay. Um, and again, you know, longevity I don't find to be the best on these. I can't say I've tried all of them for the day. But in general, the house, you know, their longevity is okay. So anyway, thanks, you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.